Introduction Accounting for partnership firms Fundamental In order to overcome limitations of sole proprietorship form of business organizations, people form partnership firms. Accounting of partnership firms has its own peculiarities because of which Indian Partnership Act 1932 has been implemented. But before going through the accounting for partnership firms, it is necessary to understand different aspects of partnership. Let us discuss meaning of partnership and its features, partnership deed, special aspects of accounting for partnership firms, capital accounts for partners, profit and loss appropriation account, guarantee of profit and past adjustment. Meaning of partnership. According to Indian Partnership Act 1932 Section 4, partnership is the relationship between persons who have agreed to share profits of business carried by all or any one of them acting for all. Features of partnership. Two or more persons. Agreement Lawful business Mutual agency Sharing of profit and unlimited liability Partnership deed Partnership deed is a document which contains partnership agreement. It contains name and address of partnership firm, names and addresses of partners Nature of business to be carried on, duration of business, investment made by each partner, rate of interest, salary paid to partners, ratio of profit or loss of each partner, terms governing admission, retirement and expulsion of a partner, mode of computation of goodwill, mode of operation of bank accounts, mode of maintaining books of accounts, Duties and obligations of partners, methods of solving disputes among partners, procedure for dissolution of the firm, and mode of settlement of accounts of partners in case of dissolution of the firm. Provisions of the Partnership Act in the absence of partnership deed. These provisions are related to profit sharing ratio, interest on capital, interest on drawings interest on advances or loans by a partner and remuneration to a partner. Special aspects of accounting for partnership firms. These are maintenance of capital accounts of partners, distribution of profit or loss among partners, past adjustments, reconstruction of partnership firm and dissolution of partnership firm. Capital Accounts of Partners These are of two types, Fixed Capital Accounts and Fluctuating Capital Accounts. Fixed Capital Accounts are of two types, Capital Accounts and Current Accounts. Capital Account In Capital Account, amount of every partner's capital remains constant over the period of time. This amount is the amount which a partner has contributed on net basis up to the date of preparing financial statements. Format of partner's capital account is as follows. Current account Current account is the account in which all transactions affecting amount of capital of a partner in the accounting period except introduction of additional capital and withdrawal of capital are posted. Format of partner's current account is as follows. Fluctuating capital account. It is one in which amount of capital fluctuates. In fluctuating capital account of a partner, all transactions affecting amount of capital are posted to capital account. Thus, there is no need of opening current account. Format of fluctuating capital account is as follows. Difference between fixed capital account and fluctuating capital account. Profit and loss appropriation account. Profit and loss appropriation account 
shows appropriation of net profit of the partnership firm on different heads. Its features are It's an extension of profit and loss account. Balance of profit and loss account is carried to profit and loss appropriation account. It is prepared on the basis of partnership agreement on the Indian Partnership Act. It shows how net profit of the firm has been appropriated. Balance of profit and loss appropriation account is transferred to capital accounts or current accounts of partners. Format of profit and loss appropriation account is as follows. Difference between profit and loss account and profit and loss appropriation account. Interest on capital. Interest on capital is treated as a charge or an appropriation. Its provision are as follows. Calculation of interest on capital. It is calculated on the actual period for which the capital is employed in the firm. Its formula is interest on capital is equal to amount of capital multiplied by rate of interest upon 100 multiplied by number of months of capital usage upon 12. Interest on drawings. Provisions regarding interest on drawings are as follows. Interest on drawings is charged if it is mentioned in the partnership agreement. Interest on drawings is charged for the period between date of drawings and date of closing of books of accounts. Rate of interest on drawings will be as per partnership agreement. Calculation of interest on drawings. There are three methods of calculating interest on drawings. Simple method, product method and average period method. Division of profit among partners. Division of profit among partners involves dividing divisible profit among partners on the basis of profit sharing ratio agreed by them. If profit sharing ratio has not been mentioned in the partnership agreement, Divisible profit is divided equally among partners as per the Indian Partnership Act, 1932. Past adjustments. Past adjustments are those adjustments which have been either not made at all while preparing financial statements of an accounting period or have been made wrongly. Thus, past adjustments are required in the following cases. Interest on capital has not been recorded or recorded wrongly. Interest on drawings has not been recorded or recorded wrongly. Partner's salary or commission has not been recorded or recorded wrongly. And profit or loss has not been appropriated as per partnership agreement. Format of statement showing net effect of adjustments is as follows. 